Hello everyone and welcome back to Rajendra. Today we're playing Scenario 3 Rising Star, going for the achievement Eye of the Tiger to defeat all enemy factions. When news spread of my subjugation of Sri Lanka, our enemies grew quiet. Only the Pandyas of Madurai still flail their arms at us, being too proud to accept that their ancient line is now but a cub next to the Chola Tiger. With stability secured and the Chalukyas weakened, I have been given a rare opportunity to build upon the foundation that my father laid. I am not averse to war, and Sri Lanka taught me that even some atrocities can be justified for the greater good. But my empire will not be one of violence alone. War is but one tool in the arsenal of an empire. We will employ every weapon that we have to expand our influence across both land and sea, and our first act will be one of diplomacy. There is a rumor out of the Far East. Surya Varman, Emperor of the Khmer, is said to seek an alliance with us. Such a pact would be a great step towards domination of this region. Indeed, the star of the Chola Empire has only begun to rise. Objectives, wait for instructions. So if we sail across the water, we'll take damage. Uh, original, uh, initially, we're restricted to Castle Age and 150 pop, but we can uh, reach the Imperial Age later on. There are many different objectives we're going to have to do. And yeah, we can eventually get Imperial Age. For the purple player, we can give them commands at the start. They can also, like Sri Lanka, be captured by the enemies and also bug out when they're captured or also just kind of bug out and be captured. I'm not actually sure what happens, but uh, they, they behave weirdly sometimes. Uh, and also, uh, we have cannon galleons and petards, but no other gunpowder. Uh, so, let's see. So, Rajendra Cola is gray. That's us. We need to visit them. We start out in the east and need to uh, bring a gift over. To the north is uh, Cyan. We have Venji, who will be north of us, and Sri Lanka, who will be all the way to the south. Uh, the Pandya dynasty of Majuri, yellow is in the southwest. <laughs> may not prove a trustworthy ally. And then to the southeast is uh, Srivijaya, blue, and the Bengali pirates, green, are also in the oceans. We have come a long way, but our journey is not over yet. We must brave the seas and bring Emperor Surya Varman's gift to Rajendra Chola. So if you remember the Khmer campaign, uh, this is the end of the third scenario. We have the envoy in the trade cart that we delivered. Sailing across the open ocean will be hard on our ships. But the shallow waters along the coast are infested by Bengali pirates. We should prepare for an arduous journey either way. So I'm just going to go straight across the water because it'll be faster. Uh, to the north, you get a fortified tower and a siege onager to help take out pirate ships. So you basically you lure them under the tower and try to fight them that way. The rough seas are damaging the hulls of our ships. We should make landfall on the Andaman Islands to repair before we continue. So we come over here. We get that wood. <laughs> And now we repair the boats. We can use this wood to repair our ships. Wood and gold. Oh, you garrison, I want you to repair. Use the hotkey there. Gives a bit more HP. Maybe I should let the uh, ballista alleys out too. They can help shoot the uh, ships. Oh, I lost one. Oh, ballista alleys are doing work there. There's another ship there. I think we lost more HP by fighting here. I probably should have just ran. Oh, I got wood from the sunken pirate ships. Okay, maybe that's... Uh, we don't need to run then. Need to heal the ballista at least, but that's about it. Right, let's just repair these... Ships a bit here. We get back onto the transport. That fire repaired. 
Yeah, just everyone get on the transport. I think we're fine now. Get on. Get on. on. We're on. Yep. All right. Yeah. Now we just sail west again. Because they have a dock there, so we'll avoid that. Just head west. Yeah, we're starting to get damaged again. Good old Sea of Worms style, only not as intense. There's a boat. Let's get it. Use the transport to absorb some uh, enemy fire, I guess. Keep going. Yeah, the, the first time I did this, I made the mistake of thinking that deep water and shallow water were uh, corresponded to the... Like, the terrain textures corresponded to the trigger to damage the ships, but I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. I was like, oh, I'll stay on the shallow water and not be damaged, but uh, nope. So here we are. I think that's easier than going around to the, uh, to the north. Go there. Oh, hello. I guess we can start by building a lumber camp there. Yeah, we have the wood for it. And I guess the envoy has to go there too. This is an exquisite gift. I have heard of your Emperor Suryavarman and would be happy to consider an alliance. You may rest in my palace for now. We have much to discuss. An alliance with a great foreign power will boost our imperial prestige. But it is only a first step. We must expand our influence across both land and sea so that the Chola Empire can reach true greatness. Right, now I'm just going to try to boom up real quick with a few TCs. Can I TC that? No. Let's just TC that stone. And then get some elephant archers out. Let's do that. And I have these uh, units over here. But I don't think we're going <laughs> to... I'm going to come back to my, my other base. I don't think we're going to protect those units that long. Let's get our goats. Let's not let them be lamed. Yeah, so as you see, all, all we have a bunch of objectives, and as we complete the objectives, we'll gain more prestige, and prestige will help us level up. Over there. And we need to keep Venji alive and not lose our castle there. That's what I didn't realize the first time. I think, uh, I think I had lost that castle, and Venji betrayed me, and I didn't realize that was something that was possible to happen. And then. Uh, when they betrayed me, uh, somehow the castle got destroyed again, and then Venji became my friend again, and then it got destroyed again, and they became my enemy. And then uh, there were a bunch of cannon galleons that destroyed this castle, and it be belonged to Sri Lanka, and they became my enemy. But then the cannon galleons were still enemies with Sri Lanka, and they kept attacking it, and it kept flipping back and forth with, between Sri Lanka and me. And uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on, and then I died. <laughs> so we're gonna probably play a bit better this time. And we'll start pumping out the LE archers, because those are going to be a key unit for us. Especially once we get our castle up and they'll be able to heal. And as they said, yellow can be dealt with swiftly. They got a lumber camp down there. Get our, we don't need the farm upgrades yet, we'll just do more docks and some fish at the start. I don't want to like overboom with fish, but I think we do need quite a few fish. And we also want to protect uh, Sri Lanka from these pirates. So let's do that. And if we can, we lure them into our castle. Because the last thing I want is to have to fight Sri Lanka. Oh, oh, not a landing. No, don't land Sri Lanka. What are you doing? I'm not going to get there in time to stop it. Uh, oh, crap, I didn't want to be fighting there. Uh, where are these guys going? Our trade vessels are under constant threat from Bengali pirates. If you could build a castle in the heart of their operations, the trade guilds would be forever clean. Our ranks have grown too thin to mount an attack at this time, Emperor. 
Allow us to replenish our forces, and then we will go wherever you ask. Okay, let's uh, do our farm upgrade before we do the farms. Uh, I feel like we might need some monks, actually. If we are to dominate the seas, we will need a navy that no one will dare confront. Let us build warships until they cover the ocean. Yeah, until they cover the ocean. Let's uh, kick out yellow. There's rams chasing our elephant archers, basically. They're kind of annoying, but we maybe deal with them with monks. Crossbow. No university yet for ballistics, so that's okay. And you go there. And you guys go to farms. Okay, I can get a castle now. I'm gonna want castles in some specific locations later, so I might save the stone. For a bit. I don't want to build castles near the coast because they'll just get destroyed by cannon galleons. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Okay, monk can convert those armored elephants for us. And converting the armored elephants actually will be very nice and very helpful. Hopefully they don't get deleted. That would be evil if the AI just deleted its armored elephants when you were converting them. Convert that for us, please. We got you. Our monk died. Our archery range died too. Silly armored elephant. Lucius sent raiders across the Tunga Batra, knowing that we cannot yet afford another full-scale war. If we build a fortress there. along the border, we should be able to deal with their raids easily. Our ranks have grown too thin to mount an attack at this time, Emperor. Allow us to replenish our forces. And then we will go wherever you ask. I want you to uh, go Our to your base. Grown too thin to mount an attack at this time, Emperor. Allow us to replenish our forces, and then we will go wherever you ask. Oh, that. Let's keep that farm alive. Do another Ellie Archer. And let's get some more monks out. Crossbows are being kind of annoying, but we can pick them off. That much worry. I lost my market, so I'll need another one. A couple more ranges and we do some skirms. Oh yeah, yellow also sends navy to attack us. Let's get rid of that. Maybe we should drop that castle. The early archers are just being silly. Sorry. Oh, the rams can attack the ships too. Great. Let's get a few fires out. I feel like those will be better if I'm not paying attention. Someone sold the wood already. Maybe it was me and I forgot that I did it. Okay, we have a, an objective to build a castle there. I'm going to see if I can sneak some vills and do it. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's the plan I have. We get at least 10 there to drop it. And here we're just defending with monks. Some sanctity. There's Ellie Archer is there. Good. That back. You go back there. You stay on your farm. Okay, we got quite a few villagers here, which is good. How's Venji doing? You're not at threat of being killed. Good. Get another armored elephant there. And hopefully Eddie is proud of us for using these monks. Now we don't need a siege workshop if we just convert all these elephants. Sorry. 
Uh, why is no villager building that range? Are we on the transport? We are. So, oh, no, we're not. We are not on the transport. Why are we not on the transport? Where did all my transport bills go? Get on the transport. Go. <laughs> Alright, uh, maybe we want to do some... Oh, I lost the Ballista Ellies. I want to cut there. Oh well. This is a good supply of elephants. In all honesty. And we need more pop. We get more pop when we build that castle. The Ellie Archers. Oop, if you can survive and get the monks to heal you, good. We can break down the gate. Your Imperial Highness, while constructing oh. your new armada, we discovered a way to strengthen the hulls of our warship. Oh, we should do that, yeah. Perhaps it may be of interest to you. Then the transport actually will make it. Okay, let's maybe not drop the castle there. Let's maybe go over here to drop it. I'm gonna need an army to do that first. Let's gather our army, gather our Ellie Archers. I know the gate's down, we can just come back and heal for a moment. Oh, let's get away from the coast there. Okay, no longer take damage in those deep waters. Good. We can do some deep water gaming now. Alright, and now we're just gonna go for Yellow's castle. We're still getting stone there. Good, good, good. Uh, I kinda wanna dock the coast. Let's see if I can just lure more stuff into my castle fire there. Good castle here. Wait, any castle I build on the coast, I fear, is going to be destroyed later on, though. I think we're going to uh, take out Yellow's castle for now, at least. How is... Okay, this castle here has not been destroyed. I like that. Oh, now it will be destroyed, though, because that elephant. Uh... And then we will go wherever you are. Yeah, let me delete some vills just so I have population to make stuff in that castle. Yeah, this is when purple's gonna turn on us. Okay, so this is how it happens. Get the, uh... Okay, as long as the elephant doesn't go for the castle, we should be okay. I'm worried about that TC in the ship, too. Uh, this castle's down. Alright. When the choice is between humiliation and annihilation, even a proud line like ours must grovel in the mud. Alright, five prestige, we need one more prestige. You are making quite a name for yourself. Okay, we got the elephant. If you wish. Yeah, when we get it. Right, now, not only will we repair the castle, we also will repair the wall in front of it so that they don't betray us. <laughs> we lose the castle. Alright, and now we can build more farms out here. And you guys will help me with the castle. Over here. Just got Throw it up right there next to that tower, right in its face. Boom. We'll do upgrades for everything. Actually, uh, a heated shot would actually be quite useful. Eventually. Let's come back there to that dock. Okay, Sri Lanka is actually defending itself now and not just dying. That's good. I think helping them stop those early pirates helped. Oh, they got uh, the Rathas on them. Okay, let's defend them. 
I've been told we don't need to defeat Purple and uh, Sri Lanka. We just need to defeat all the enemies for the achievement. So I'm hoping that's all we need to do. And I think that might include yellow at some point. I don't know exactly what benefit this castle will give us. And I'm going to hope the tower fires at the elephants and not at the uh, villagers building that castle. Okay, get those farms there. Send some fires up there. Don't need that mining camp no more. Uh, build a farm, build a farm. Magnificent! I would like to see the Chalukians try to get past this fortress. Right, now we get some gold here that we can mine. Uh, something tells me they'll be able to get past it. Uh, repair that, please. With our prestige growing by the day, it will not oh, be long now. until my father's dream is realized. And the Chola dynasty rules both the land and the sea. Imp enabled. Let's go to Imp. Okay, now we're going to need more boats as we head up to Imp. We got 1337 stone, the perfect amount of stone. Uh, purple is still our ally and is not fighting us. That is good. Let's move down there. <laughs> There's a reason I'm keeping those armored elephants by that castle. I need to get to those docks over there. I think I also need to defeat Blue. I need to get a castle up there. Let's just maybe sell some food and click Imp. There you go, up to Imp. And then, we oh, we'll be able to make our Imperial Age ship. So with that ship, then we can start pushing green here, get the castle there. And everything will be good. Oh, yellow's gonna help clean Purple's base. Beautiful. Oh, I didn't flare anywhere. Okay. Let's just do... I guess we don't need that. That could be useful for infantry in case we need to spam out uh, infantry. Yeah, elephants just stand there right by that castle. Oh, there's a castle there. And I'm losing elephants. I should get some more ranges here for more LA archers. I guess if we can get to elite Ellie archer with... Uh, Bracer and chemistry. That should be some more attack. Let's, uh, let's do that. Just, uh, yeah, just to make sure they don't escape if they betray us. And that deer still. Got some idols. Stop being idle. Don't mind that gold. Let's get some more docks, I guess. Uh, yellow is our ally there. Uh, green is mounting another attack down here. We've got nine warships. 100 trade journeys to Srivijaya. I think we might have to defeat them. Steal a Chalukian relic. Where is that? Oh, it's up there. That's where that monastery is. Okay. We uh, actually, you might be able to do that. Okay, but we're up. We want shipwright. And what are these things? 180, 60. I think we want some of those. We want chemistry. We're going to want to get to some elite elephant archers soon. Gold there. Let's go mine that. We'll make our uh, super ships. And some period appropriate cannon galleons. I need to find more gold. No. Oh, uh, how many vills does it take to kill one of those? More than that. Uh, I don't have any elephant archers nearby. Pikemen and halves. Ignore armor, that will be nice. All of this stuff here will be very nice. And guilds also, since we're running low on gold so much. 
There. An elite Ellie Archer, we want that too. What is D? That, I don't want a hockey for that. Sorry, I'm just gonna clear that. I said clear, why are you resetting it? Oh, there we are. Clear, clear, clear all these techs. I'm pressing my, my go-to building hotkeys. Yes. Save that. And I think that should do it. Stable. You should be the same as my night hockey. There we are. And hopefully that changes my hotkeys correctly. <laughs> Feels right so far. And then Elite Cannon Galleon is pretty expensive, but we just did guilds, so we can afford that in Dry Dock. And we some of those and some of those big warships. Be very population efficient now. Those 40 warships you want are going to be 40 big warships. Now, what is yellow doing? Oh, there's gold there. We could uh, let's go capture that. <laughs> Bombard towers? Ooh, if we do that, we'll be able to build them. Okay, we also want trebs to deal with that castle. Uh, oh, okay, maybe some swordsmen in that steel. I guess Halb's ignoring armor could be very good if they end up getting into a melee fight. Yeah, there's our glorious navy. Uh, what does that be? Make a few more of those. They look nice. Oh man, this is so much easier when purple and yellow are not both attacking you. Along with green and cyan. And okay, now let's... My elephants here. And the elite elephant archer. Oh, I can I not cross that? That's sad. Well, I guess I don't need to go there anymore. My ally just cleared it for me. Just TC here somewhere. Like right there. Good job, ally. You are very useful. Uh, pop limit was 150, right? So we'll make a few uh, cannon galleons and then we'll be off on our ocean adventure. Oh, we should do eco upgrades. Almost out of gold there. Uh, if you want to go there. How are we doing? Oh, we, we, we're doing pretty well against those fires, too. Where does my uh, cannon galleons go? Alright, there we are. Come here, and I'll try to defeat these pirates. And more of those ships. Oh, those, these ships are nice. Oh, they're all chasing that one. And we need you back and repair you. Now let's maybe just delete you. I don't think we need 114 bills with the top limit we have. Oh, keep the cannon galleon safe. Oh, more of them. Oh gosh, these ships are huge. All right, halfway to our warship goal. Oh, you didn't repair, did you? You can be repaired. Not you. Oh, get the transport, get the transport. Don't let the transport transport anything. That would be bad. Keep Sri Lanka alive. Those elite LA archers now. Clean up here. Certainly have gold, but if we can capture this island and transport to it, then we can get more gold. Just gotta keep you alive. And that castle. And now we can again try to transport for uh, building that castle. We can get a good. 21 vills. Oh, let's do some more upgrades for everything. Sure. These, these guys throwing the discs seem very strong. Let's 
do town patrols, sure. Got two cannon galleons left. Not as good against cannon galleons, it feels like. Oh, whoops. <laughs> they are very stacked. Okay, now it is oh, one. Okay, you boats here. You never got repaired. Tried to transport. Hopefully that failed. Repair that boat, please. All of you get in the TC. TC can kill that, right? Or if you want to the boat, I'll lure you over. Get over, get in the TC, and kill it. Here. There, get on. Okay, now it is almost safe to go over there. And build that castle. Right. Good there. And go castle there. We also need to dock this side, I guess, to, uh... Look at all those nice fish we could have taken had we docked here earlier. But I think we don't have the, uh... <laughs> the ability to hold docks in that many locations at, at the start. Sign doesn't really have much of a navy this game. They have had big navies in the past. We'll just build our big ships there. Uh, there. And then when that castle goes up, I guess we'll make a couple docks. And then when all the docks go up, we'll delete those vills, get our pop space, and use that pop space for navy over here. Oh, well, the pirates are down there too. Oh well. Hopefully boats won't get stuck in between there. Uh, they're going to get stuck on that beach. Let us scour the seas and search every cove. It is time to root out these parasites for good. They will no longer spawn from the edge of the map. Oh boy. <laughs> that is something you always like to hear when you're in a scenario. Your enemies will no longer appear out of thin air. Right, let's go maybe take that. We got more of you up there. I'm not really using them. I think blacksmith upgrades will be good. Faith could be good, still. I shall send my army there at once, Your Highness. I don't think you have much of an army, but it'll get there. More warships being built. We are very close to our 100 warships goal. I think it's very cute how the entire last scenario is played down here, and now it's just a small part of the bigger map. I just enjoy that a bit. Let's sell some stuff there. Disaster has struck your highness. The have installed their own oh, what? In and turned the city against us. Yep, that that their happened to me. Now marching across the Thangabatra River. Anyone who is willing to stand up to Rajendra Chola is a here we go. Ally. There. Please join the Chalukis and restore the glory of the Bandian dynasty. For years I have played at being the benevolent diplomat and hesitated to vanquish my foes. Yet this is my favorite. To see all that I have worked for come undone, like a proud tree shattered by lightning? <laughs> of course it is. For what does kindness bring except another reason for your lessons to hate you? Well, good thing we took out that castle there. And good thing... Oh, we don't have a wall then. My, my trap failed. Can I actually build the... I can't build the Bombard Tower. So much gunpowder. There you go, Bombard Tower. I didn't see... Did they destroy my castle? When I wasn't paying attention? Okay, you destroy that. Let's do... I don't have sappers. I need that gold mine. Uh, I could use some halb and some skirm probably, and maybe also light calf. Got cannon galleons there. 
That could destroy yellow, maybe. Can you actually hit that tower? Uh, okay, get in the tower. Let's use that. There, I'm going to need more uh, siege here. Some elephants. Upgrade them. Keep sure. That's a lot of boats they got there. Okay, repair that. Okay, you swordsmen go forward. Maybe kill the trib. Cannon galleons, if you can kill that dock, that'd be swell. Can you hit the castle? Okay, we. Oh, you can't hit the castle. Beautiful. It's probably better than killing the dock. These ships can kill the docks. Okay, now we're being attacked by everyone everywhere. Uh, cannon galleons are destroying. Let's kill the keep and the sea tower and then the docks. We get involved there too, and there's other guys up there and around there. Maybe we can find that tower again. I'll have to show you the tower I'm talking about. There's a lovely pikeman guarding a fortified tower and a siege onager. Okay, we got all these guys. Let's kill the docks. I'm just gonna make some skirms there so I don't spend my gold. If that castle could go down. Can you kill the treb? Oh yeah, that'll probably work pretty well. Okay, down it goes. Now I don't, now I don't need these guys to protect it. Oh yes, I can like switch targets mid-volley. That's useful. Get that. Okay, what's going on down here? Ellie archers again. Because you have rangers. We need a... Uh... I don't think they have anything that can kill the siege elephants. Um, that tower didn't go up. Oh, that, uh... They have their own armored elephants, though. I <laughs> can just walk into their base there. Okay, that is down. Get these docks. Get that tower, please. And skirmish your time. Uh, can I repair that? Attack with the bills. Who's armored, not siege. Now I just need to seek to defeat them. Oh, we're out of gold and gold to repair bombard towers. Oh well. Let's get a monk, maybe. Uh, where did my cannon galleons here that go? They were killed from this side. Great. Let's finish off that dock. Oh, I'm 35 out of 40 warships. Did I never hit the warship total I needed? That cannon galleon's there. Let's attack that thing, then come up to the north. Transport can uh, explore the north. Add some more vills there. Add some more vills here. Okay, now I got lots of armored elephants. Oh gosh, that's where I spent all my gold. <laughs> Those ones there. Uh, just get a conversion on the one. There. And then we'll have to go for purple. Orange is still safe. I still haven't been able to afford that elite upgrade. Okay. Kill that and then kill the dock. Get him. Get him. Oh, he's dodging. I really should uh, probably do that trade scenario, but I also think I have to defeat blue. Let's see, where are we? There is. Oh, here we are. Hello. For a second there, I thought you were pirates, boys. If you see any of those scumbags sailing around, lure them to me and I will take care of them. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that nice, beautiful tower here, watching over this ocean. Okay, now we go up here to the pirate coves. And, okay, so yellow is defeated. Let's destroy that dock, and then come down and destroy yellow's navy. These ships. Oh, hello, uh, Trebs. That I didn't notice until now. What, can now kill those swordsmen? Okay, yellow seems to have stopped, but I think we'll still want to deal with them. Now we'll come back up here. Oh, those villagers are somehow are alive still. Those ones aren't. Reclaim purple. Uh, can we sail here? There we can. <laughs> oh, that's where some of the raids were coming from. We have their crossbow archer mixture there. And this is a very pretty pirate base. I, I love the detail in these maps. Uh, oh, Orange, you are allied with us. Okay, let's uh, sail down there. Just take out Yellow's ships. Maybe this will be the last of the pirates. Orange can explore this area for us. That'll be lovely of them. Looks like there isn't anything up there. Oh, maybe there is. You massive ships explore down these tiny rivers. Okay. Nothing there. What is my cheapest gold ship? It's going to be the Galleon. I just need to get up to that, uh... Galleon's gonna be bad there. Descended upon these pirates like the torrents of Vashem Ritu. Now nothing remains of them but flotsam and wailing souls, soon to be reborn as the vermin that they aspire to be. In this I'll go for that. I think I'll need some skirmishers to deal with all the pikemen that guy's gonna make. I can't hit that from the coast, can I? Let's go for that castle. Oh, not monks. No, not monks. It's my arch enemy. I think we just gotta get the castle. And I think we have enough guys we can just rush the castle. Oh, we got people in our base down here, too. Um, okay, yes. Purple is now on our side. Oh, is that bridge open now? It looks like it might be. Or unless we can still sail across it. It is. Oh, it's a completed bridge. It was destroyed earlier. Okay, we need to bring our navy over to this side here. There. And maybe make a couple of cannon galleons. That many light cav, I need uh, cannon galleons. Another one there. Oh, these ships are great for this low pop limit scenario. <laughs> yeah, you don't get involved in aggroing the enemy. Oh, Sri Lanka, you're helping us and not fighting us. Beautiful. We're just going to take out these docks now. Okay, for the keeps. And mostly for the ships. 
How are we doing down here? Are we cleaned? I think we're cleaned. It feels like we can't actually access that wood line that well. Oh, the rest of our navy needs to come over here. I need to protect that cannon galleon. Oh, we really need to protect that cannon galleon. Let's run away. Oh, are they really pumping out the ships here? This uh, infinite unit spam is really working. Uh, I'm worried we might get uh, objectives finished before we win. Which would be very sad because I do want to defeat them. Give that cannon galleon some room to maneuver it. Let's take out the keep, too. Oh, yeah, they're super aggressive here. Problem is, I don't really have the gold to keep funding this navy forever. I need that keep down. Okay, let's just maybe focus the dock with these guys, too. There. Okay, I don't see any blinking lights down there, so that looks safe. Our allies will hopefully get that tower. Our ranks have grown too thin to mount an attack at this time, Emperor. Allow us to replenish our forces, and then we will go wherever you ask. Okay, let's also just rewall this. You go up there. Okay, Ken and Yali can go for that. Okay, our worship numbers have dwindled. These warships are insane. Check the cannon galleon. If that dock can go out, this will be a, a successful raid as long as we bring the rest of our warships up. Yeah, they're going for the cannon galleon, but we're going to protect it. Kill that ship, and it'll get one more cannon shot off. That will take out that dock. And we'll lock the dock numbers down. Once, oh. Pair. Should I offer a gate over here? Let's do that. Sure. And if you can take out that tower for me, then I can mine that gold. Okay. Sell some of that. Some more cannon galleons. Sea tower. Yeah, they only have two docks left, and that one I can destroy with these ships because they don't keep protecting it. If we get them down to one dock and take their numbers out, and they shouldn't be able to uh, outproduce us anymore. We should just be able to destroy the ships as they come. Is that there's a sea tower there. They have a lot of ships there. At least that's Sri Lanka helping us. Are they just spotting ships out of nowhere too? Did I get those cannon galleons? Yeah. Come up here. <laughs> I like how they're adding in the fish. Like they're really gonna fish here. Now, what, what is there a dock there that I'm missing? No. Is the cannon galleons? At least these are only Castle Age fire ships. You now that dock will go down. That fire, don't let it get to the cannon galleons. That fire, don't let it get to the cannon galleons. Okay, good. One more. That keep and then that dock.
Oh, there's a trip there. Need more of those swordsmen. Uh, I should probably just make barracks here. I just really, I really needed to make that trade uh, wait earlier. I just, I think I have to defeat Blue at some point too. As long as I don't have 40 warships, then we should be okay, I hope. Okay, this castle is still holding the ground over here. Okay, we've destroyed their western docks, right? That's, just, that's all? Okay, there. So no more threats on the water. These boats uh, just be deleted for pop space. We attack blue with them. It's a big risk, but I think attacking blue might be part of our objectives. So uh, defeated yellow, we'll defeat blue, and now we'll defeat cyan. Oh, we still got boats down here not being used for anything. Oh, look at that moonwalking fishing ship. There it goes. I get Malay Harbors. These guys train fairly quick. Uh, go there. Take some pikemen, I guess. Oh, you're mining the gold I need. Yeah, then ne next we'll be uh, trying to steal that relic. And uh, what, what are our overall objectives? Actually, let's not do that, because it might give us too much prestige, and I want to just defeat people. Oh yeah, they're coming to attack us. Oh, they're neutral, so they won't attack trade ships, right? So we're going to attack them with our remaining army here. I mean, our remaining navy there. Retreat from that coast. Destroy that building there. That'd be nice. Yeah, defeating blue is going to mean we don't get as much gold, though. So what that we need to do then is secure over here. Spam the halves. Make some more villagers. Oh, we got army there. Just taking up the population. And go there. And, oh, we got gold there. That's good. And then next we'll have some gold over here. We could potentially take. But uh, those cannon galleons need to sail down here for now. Use to sail down there as well. Let's not lose ships unnecessarily. And we'll just defeat Blue. Alright. And everyone go to this uh, gold there. A uh, purple... No, don't mind my gold. Bad purple. Now let's see what happens if we press... Uh, so I want to get over there. Just had skirms there, I guess. Okay, probably don't need that many new vills then. Unless they're going to be mining gold. Okay, you still have a hotkey. Good. Make those more of those big ships. I have a cannon galleon hiding out over there. I don't need that transport anymore. I have a few cannon galleons. I have a bunch of these. Uh, I need to say the name. Uh, Therisidae. Or Thrissa die. Okay, only 12 of them. It's not enough. I also don't want too many of them, because then I'll have 40 warships and complete the objective. I also got our pop limit, so let's not make any more skirms. Let's just come over here. And those swords are not too. I'm yeah, definitely gonna have murder holes. Oh, oh they'll give us pop space. I want to get to that gold. I hope we actually do need to defeat Blue, and I'm not just uh, doing it to do it. But with these big ships, I 
I don't think it should be too big of a deal. Let's send some raids up here just to see what we're dealing with and scout a bit. Oh, we can't go that way. Oh, we'll come this way then. Oh, hello. We actually did make it there. Oh. I'll get the bill and go over there. Oh, we can trade with that market. Uh, let's just destroy it. Keep the cannon galleons away from any combat. We'll declare war if we kill too many of our units. Well, I think we gotta defeat them for the achievement, so... War it is. Objectives has changed. Defeat! Sri Vijaya, which I think is a great objective instead of trading with them. Just straight up defeat them. Boom. Not very pacifist-like, but it'll be uh, naval warfare. I hope they're not training ships at this point. If they are, this is kind of bad. Yeah, you do have a lot of ships. And you do have Malay harbors. But we are cannon galleoning the harbors. We're adding in more of our own ships. We're out of wood. Uh, all of you, uh, all of you, go just fight there and die so I get more pop space. And stay together. Got like 16 of you left. Alright, why are the cannon galleons there? I don't know. It would I think I can uh, deal with better than not having gold if I'm losing my trade partner. Right, let's, uh, let's see how many docks you still have. Maybe Sri Lanka will help us. Let's just come to one side of the island, I think. Uh, go there for wood. You and you go there for wood. And uh, let's see. Well, there's a dock down there. We just want to snipe off the docks because that's what's making the uh, ships that'll kill us. Let's not fight under the castle, either. Man, these boats are tanky. It's 250 compared to 165. It's a lot of HP. Okay, that's a dock in the corner. Hopefully the cannon galleon can take out that dock for us. These ships are a lot of wood. Oh, nope. Cannon galleon can't do it. So let's retreat, then. Retreat to the docks. Get more of those, and then we'll need some cannon galleons. How are we doing here? Okay, we're losing our army. That's good. Then we'll have pop space for villagers. We then can uh, chop wood for us. Uh, there's lumber there. You guys come up over here. A few cannon galleons. And a few more of these ships. How much wood are they? 144 wood. That's a lot of wood. Good thing we did ship right earlier. Let's just come and chop wood over there. Here's another cannon galleon. I have a good four of them. We should be able to snipe off that dock and then sail around the other side of the island, kill the rest of the docks, kill the navy, and then finish them off. What's happening there? Alright, attack there. My army there at once, your Highness. One more round of these ships, and then we should be good. 
So I came in galleon there. Oh, Sri Lanka's helping. Good, Sri Lanka. Good. I'm losing our gold there, but purple's there. Lot of ships now. But we got cannon galleons to deal with that. Okay, now their numbers are down, we should be able to just uh just take them out. Yeah, let's find their other dock. What's going on over there? Um, I still don't have the elite upgrade there. I still don't have Halb. Alright. Uh, no. They can convert my barracks. Island. Maybe we'll be lucky and there won't be any more docks here. Oh, there are no more docks. Oh, and they can't get onto their transport. Okay, good. Now we just gotta kill their buildings with cannon galleons, and then they'll be defeated. <laughs> this castle really does need to survive. And let's not put that barracks out. Oh. The swordsman. Then go for the treb. Oh, they're in. They're in. Hey, we have not a, a lot of uh, wood now. Oh, what are those scrums doing? Okay, still got the cannon galleons. As long as they don't have any arbalests. Well, they normally would have arbalests, but I guess in the maybe in the campaign they just don't. Take out the stables. So that'll be different classes of units. They'll just stop producing. Now for the barracks and then the castle. Oh, the graphics are glitching there a bit. University, they don't need that. Oh, oh, wrong hotkey. Let's try to keep. I lost one cannon galleon. Oh well. All of you go destroy the keep too. Surround the island so they don't like run away. Okay, now destroy the castle so they don't train more karambits. You just help on the castle, I guess. Let's get it down as fast as we can. And then we delete the ships. And defeat Cyan. Which I think we've done a pretty decent job of defeating Cyan so far. Uh, let's sell some wood now. And finally, do Halb. And, uh, let's send... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, my barracks upgrades are cheaper. I could have done Halb a long time ago. Uh, oh, well. You can finally do that. And these guys are fairly cheap, so we're just going to spam them. Maybe win this side of the map with them. We'll see how good they are. Let's look at that siege manager over there, taking up our pop space. And that castle's almost down. There's a lot of our ships. Hopefully he resigns when all of his buildings are dead. One more cannon galleon volley should do it. Okay, now we clean up these units, and Blue is defeated. Oh, there we are. should have known better than to try and control the trade in our waters. Oh, we can go back to the Ellie Archers, I think. Let's see if we can, like, uh, I guess, castle here, and then TC there. 
You should also do faith. We've lost a lot of villagers. Okay, we don't need these boats anymore, but you can come up here and maybe harass stuff from the shore. I guess I'll keep a few of them alive over here, just to keep them alive. And we're not going to build 20 warships now, we're not going to get that relic. Because we don't want to complete the objectives, we want to win by defeating them. Yeah, I think this scenario would be much easier if you actually traded with Blue instead of fighting. I don't know if Blue's actually maybe triggered to betray you and fight at some point. But this this was definitely a very fun scenario. It's pretty huge in scale. It's probably a bit more fun if you do it without trying to go for the achievement. Okay, we'll castle there. You come from this side. You, let's just build farms right here. Oh, that vision disappears. Oh, look at that, the perfect farm spiral. Well, these guys seem like they're pretty good. I don't actually know what their charging attack does, but it seems to be working decently well. I'll get some more of them. That castle here. Maybe a workshop for some uh, siege elephants. There's a trib there that I'm not liking. Oh, my barracks is there. Got cleaned up. It's scrum time then. Or farms. That mining camp has long since been mined out. Yeah, we could probably get the castle from the coast too, which will be nice. And now hopefully we just defeat Cyan and then win with the achievement. And now we'll get access to some more gold. And uh, there's gold there too. Let's scout that. Oh, hello. Let's take those deers again. Oh, we are starting to get overran up here. Some more swordsmen there. Get this cleaned. Now we have more wood than we do food. Let's get that fixed. Oh, purple don't have a TC anymore. I guess it's a problem, but uh, what won't be a problem is that castle, I hope. Or that palisade wall. Okay, 15 range. Can we hit that castle? Yes, we can. Good. Go down. That'll make it easier to push this side. Make maybe a treb. Okay, this looks cleaned up. We'll get some bills on that gold. And we'll come up clean these hills. Those are some very pretty hills, but I don't know if they really do much. Go destroy that monastery, but I think we need to push up. We don't have uh, spies. Oh, there's a treb. Let's make some light cav there to help scout. Okay, you guys come up here. Oh, okay. Maybe I want to go for champions. They do have a lot of crossbows and check from throwers. These Arumi swordsmen seem to be doing fairly well. They don't have much HP. They seem to die fairly quickly. Oh, that's a lot of monks. I'm gonna lose all those guys there. There, and the 
The light cav will help deal with the uh, the monk spam. Let's go there too. Got some Ellie archers. Got lots of idols there. Just come up here. Oh, they got hussars. Yeah, hussars go for that. Uh, one halb there. Halb will be annoying. Oh, that's a ton of damage that guy just did. Go for the thrower there. How are we doing there? Okay, now I think we actually can delete those ships. Now I think they've actually reached the point of being useless. Same with the uh, cannon galleons. Sorry, guys. Where are my other warships? It says I have 11 warships. Oh, there's some there. I got eight warships. Let's use our idle military button. Got another cannon galleon. Uh, this sea challenger. I'm sorry, but you can be deleted. You're not going to be useful no more. Yeah, that's trash spam time. We're also going to want some more elephants. The monks get that monastery, but don't steal the relic. Get that monk. Oh, that trev actually could start trevving the, uh, the castle. And let's do some... I don't know how these guys will do against buildings. But we'll try them out. That range. Do I have champion? I hope I do. So at this point, champions could also kill buildings and be like the one wonderful unit to win the game. You gotta try out the save, see how the different unit compositions work. Oh, we do have champion. We don't have the food for it. 11,000 wood, but no food. I guess that means we make fish traps. Need all them from one dock. A few from all of them. You... Oh, we can actually... We don't need fish traps. You can just take fish. <laughs> oh, I don't have elite battle elephant either. That's, uh... Difficult. Alright, that's down. Good. Maybe these guys actually wreck the champions. Yeah, see, if we have been trading, we wouldn't have had the, uh, the ability to make these fish traps because the trade route would have been in the way. Never trade with your allies when you can fish trap your docks instead. Is that Hussar going to try to kill my fish traps? I would not take too kindly to that. There. Are they coming back here? No. Bad enemy. With all these fish traps, hopefully we'll have some food now. That's a good 19. What, why are you dropping off at that dock and not that one? Silly fishing ship, right? Just do like that. Maybe that'll be better. I think we're running out of wood on the map. Let's just take all these villagers, bring them up here. Take that little bit of gold they got there. Hopefully they're getting some type of infinite resource sling. How's he going? Armor will probably be nice too. Ooh, this is a long one. Yeah, let's go start pushing these buildings. Still got a villager there. 
one swordsman should deal with that. I also have gold there. Start dealing with those stables. And something tells me heli archers would be nice. I don't want to just keep throwing gold units into the meat grinder there. Very long, just go pure Urumi swordsman. Oh, those champions are so cheap though with supplies. Only 45 food. Uh, I think uh, we probably do want Eli archers though. We'll find some way to pay for them. Let's just steal and delete these farms so we got more building space. That's how we treat our allies. There. Some more Eli archer space. Uh, and then we'll sell some of the steel wood. And we'll start making actual faster firing Eli archers. And once we get a few Eli archers, then we'll add in some trebs. And then we'll use the trebs to kill buildings. Like those up there. Can we dock the pond there and build a cannon galleon? Oh, yes, look, we will do that. <laughs> no, maybe take out that siege workshop. This is some Ellie archers there. That's enough to hold that uh, crossing. We'll spam halbs too. Maybe spam a few light cap. I guess they'll ignore our armor as well. Okay, there for now. I do still have monks. And you, uh, Cunning Galleon. Make more fish traps there. I don't know if they're more efficient than farms, but they're more fun. They're I'm running out of wood to chop. It's just a grind now. Right, so there we are. Trebs. Ellie Archer, Micro Time, Under they have Monks. I need to do Faith. Yeah, and here's where we have the regenerating elephant archers as our army. Alright, some more Trebs. Some more Ellie Archers. Oh, we're hitting the pop limit. Oh. There. There, more beautiful fish traps. Okay, that building's down, that scorpion's down. Get that wall. Okay, Trebs, keep going forward. Ellie Archers, keep doing your thing. Oh, you. I, I can signal you. Yes. <laughs> send the army. I face the wrath of my fully armed and operational elite elephant archers. I guess they're not fully upgraded though, because I need a uh, faith. It looks like they're rebuilding buildings now. So we're going to get this castle out of the way. Maybe we can just shift you there. And can you get that stable from somewhere? If you could, that'd be lovely. I know we, we do need faith. Monk, get that swordsman, that dodge cavalry. Right, that is almost down. Some more elephants on the way. Okay, that is down. Good. 
I shall send my army there at once, Your Highness. Okay, you can get those trebs. Uh, nope. That's my stop hockey. It's not stopping. No, no, no. Stop. Okay, we need to take out these stables here. So, uh, at this point, if you really want to win, I think you take the relic. But we'll just uh, go through and defeat them. And hopefully that'll be the achievement. Elephant archers can maybe take out those buildings. Okay, some more elephant archers are there. And my idle fishing ships there. Some of you come over there. It's almost fish trap time over here too. In fact, let's uh, let's make it so. Stables almost destroyed. One last stable and make some more trebs there. That last early archer. And one more push into their base, and I think we'll have it. You can scout up there. Helps me get that. Purple can go there. I shall send my army there at once, Your Highness. I thank you. Anything interesting up here? Just some few production facilities. Ah, yeah, another monastery with more relics. Oh, actually, no, you don't. You just moved the relic there. After you, uh... Had it destroyed the first time. Oh, Sri Lanka, you don't have anywhere to use your... ...ships. Okay. Uh, trip time. More trips there. Don't need you anymore. Seri. Nan tayar. we got elephant. Uh, workshops. Over here. And you can help take the castle out, too. Pretend like we're playing Britons with longbows. They got upgrades on the castle, too, for HP. Okay, another trib. Good. I'm going to make a beeline for the TC and see if killing the TC or destroying the TC will be enough to defeat them. Okay, that'll be our elephant ram workshop. Sure. Don't run around. Oh, well, that won't be our elephant ram workshop. Uh, I don't even have vills to send forward. Let's make more vills. Oh, 
Well, his villagers are dodging arrows. And nothing. Oh, you Trev found a spot there. Oh, Ellie archers, yay. Yeah, that's down. Hopefully that's the end. The jewelers have overrun us. Right, good. We are doomed. Boom. So if you want to defeat everyone, I think not building the warships is probably the easiest way to uh, get the achievement. I hope I got it there. My allies kneel before me, and my enemies shatter against my army. Yep, I the tiger. Great sword which I have fashioned from a mass of human material. Never again will anyone question the might of Rajindra Jola. Okay, so we got the achievement, but what did it cost us? It cost us uh, everything. Well, we got to make lots of Ellie archers and lots of those big, uh, those new big ships, which I liked. My enemies lie shattered before me, and the Jola Empire stands victorious once more. Why then? Does it feel as if something inside of me is breaking? For years, I have sought greatness not only for myself, but for my subjects. I have treated even our rivals with the dignity befitting ancient dynasties. But my softness has only led to setbacks. Only when I unleash devastation upon my enemies, soldiers and civilians alike, do I seem to conjure up any lasting victory. Perhaps my father was right after all. I cannot be both great and benevolent. One virtue must be sacrificed for the other. The price for greatness is inevitably corruption. The slow death of everything that I believe in. For a long time, this quandary has sent me into tortuous dreams. It is as if a black seed has been planted in some murky crevasse of my soul. I have ignored it, hid from it, all for naught. Could it be that my fear of corruption was but a sign of my inexperience as a ruler? Something that my father learned to overcome in the harshness of his later years. For if one cannot reach greatness without being corrupted, without giving in to that deep desire to increase one's power by any means available, then is corruption truly a bad thing? Well, okay then, let's look at that map. We have the Eye of the Tiger. And, oh, look at, look at that little, uh, worm graphic. Let me zoom out more. Yeah. That's, uh, very beautiful. I, know. I like how we can see that at the end. It's, like, going right around to its tail there. That's cool. Yeah, the first time, I thought that the, uh... When it said you had to stay near the shallow water. This is the shallow water terrain. I thought we'd be safe as long as we were there. So I sailed around, and then I, uh, got to this island, and I died. <laughs> and then the second time, uh, I didn't realize that purple and yellow would betray me at the same time, and then Sri Lanka would also betray me, and then I just got overwhelmed. But once I learned how it worked, then it's, uh, quite, quite straightforward, but it can take a long time if you go for the defeat instead of, uh... You can also trade with Blue, and you'll become your ally at some point. I don't know if you trade too much, maybe he'll betray you. But look at that, 1,468 kills. Lots of eco, even though it felt like we had no eco most of the time. Anyway, nice long one there. You play two hours and at least get the achievement. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.